Hey everybody, it's Albert, and we're going to continue now with my discussion of um, the Gospel of Barnabas and Islamic One's video, and then let's now turn over to what he has to say about the, the contents of the Gospel itself. Well, 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 isn't that interesting? Now, of course, there's things in this little piece of text he's given us that anyone with any eye for textual criticism will just jump all over because it's so obviously secondary and derivative and so obviously written to back up a specific theory. And in this case, given the context, obviously, Islam, this is a medieval forgery <coughs> that it, anyone can just see through it. But uh, unless, except for this guy, because he's just seen what he wants to see because, um, well, well, it says the Gospel of Barnabas right on the cover, right? And it must be written by Barnabas. Well, no, um, it wasn't. Um, and, and it's quite obvious. First of all, you just look, for the, con the context is very much aping the Gospel of Luke the Annunciation scene. Uh, of course, changing it to profit, but it doesn't make any sense because the angel comes and says, don't worry, you're just giving birth to a prophet. You know? But it doesn't really make sense because that's not how prophets are born. Um, it isn't. I mean, you just, just read. None of, none of the other prophets had virgin births uh, because, in fact, what the angel in the original story come and said you're giving birth to the son of God and that is why you have this dramatic event happening and it makes sense there but to say oh you're just giving you know just another just one more prophet don't, don't worry well no I mean it doesn't make any sense because after all she's betrothed to Joseph why not just let them have a kid and make him the prophet it just doesn't really make a whole lot of sense does it but there's more because if you notice they refer to her as the virgin now in, of course in the New Testament account she's She's described, I mean, she's, from the context, she obviously is a virgin, but she's not, it's not used as a title, the virgin. Like, they don't use the virgin in place of Mary. But to use that title, the virgin, for Mary became much more common many centuries later. Instead of referring to her as Mary, they refer to her as the virgin, and nowadays they all commonly see the Virgin Mary. But that was not common back then, uh, in the first century, that would, to use this title, the Virgin, as a title. Um, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense for that to be a first century document. It's obviously written many centuries later. And in fact, the title, the Virgin, was very common in the medieval period when this, in fact, really was written. <laughs> Well, I think we can see the heavy handedness there, but um, again, this is basically you're taking this story that's in the New Testament and just inverting it and changing things to fit Muslim doctrines, but it doesn't really, it, again, the story makes no sense as an original. Um, and it's the same thing that happens with something like the Gospel of Judas, where it's obviously dependent on something that came earlier. Um, this is obviously an, just taking an existing story and changing things, um, but it doesn't have any ring of being original because it doesn't make sense in the context. Uh, because if the guy was inspired by God, he would not have done something that would have offended Jesus. Since it, it, it just runs around in circles. It, it just makes no sense at all. But nothing in this video has made any sense at all. Nothing in the Gospel of Barnabas makes any sense at all. So I guess uh, 
I'm kind of grasping at straws, expecting any sort of rhyme or reason of this. <laughs> I have to wonder how anyone could put that in a video with a straight face. I mean, you have this mention of Muhammad as Adam's walking away, and then it's written there, Muhammad is... The more natural reaction for Adam at that point would have been, who's Muhammad? There's only two of us. I don't, you're not, I'm not Muhammad, you're not Muhammad. You, um, you, you, the only thing I have to say to the maker of this video is, are you that gullible that not only is Muhammad mentioned, but they actually use a phrase that Muslims use in, in basically as, as part of their faith, that, the, that this later phrase is already in play in the first century in a, in a writing by uh, Barnabas. Um, <laughs> It's, 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 I mean, how gullible are you? Well, you've made this video, so I guess you kind of, it's kind of a silly question, isn't it? At this point, you just have to kind of giggle. Um, it's so sad. Uh, but you notice, first of all, that that whoever wrote this wasn't really that familiar with the New Testament that well. I mean, they didn't have any great command of it because the, the phrase they put in the words of Jesus were not... It was not actually just taking Jesus' words and changing them somehow. Um, they actually put the words of John the Baptist, the voice crying in the wilderness. That's John the Baptist, not Jesus. So this person's just totally confused um, who wrote this. Uh, I mean, the, the, I'm talking about the Gospel of Martin. So the person who did wrote stuff for this video is confused too, but it's, it's a different level of confusion. Um, th this is just so blatantly absurd that it, you wonder, why does anyone even have to point out that this is a fraud? But, you know, this person just... The, there are people out there who think this is real. They do exist, and I've given you proof. At this point, I'm just going to pick out a few things because I don't want to make you endure the entire thing. It's just far too silly. I think I've made my point, but I just want to bring up a couple things because I just think they're amusing. You can watch his videos, certainly, uh, and see them. Um, why, at one point, he, it's, they're speaking of whether it was um, Isaac or Ishmael who was sacrificed. They say that, you know, the Jews say it's Isaac and the Ishmaelites say it's Ishmael. Well, they, no, they didn't say that in the first century. Um, there's, 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 this question was never raised at all and, until the time of Muhammad. I mean, it's just, it's not. It's, it, it's, it's a fantasy. Um, it's something, it's a total anachronism. It's just completely ridiculous. There's, there's no, nothing. And then, of course, they have the part where Jesus doesn't actually get crucified. They mention Judas gets crucified, but how, where, who's Judas? I mean, it, before, remember that he wasn't part of the apostles. I, I, it, the whole thing's just um, rather silly uh, from start to finish, and there's no consistency at all in any of this. And, and it was a very poorly written gospel, which has tons of anachronisms in it, and geographical errors, and, and but this person doesn't. And, and I would also point out, by the way, the source he used. One mother, I just have to bring this up just because it's so, it's so, it's so utterly comical. The source he used among the other, among the other ridiculous claims that were made also claimed that Irenaeus quoted from the Gospel of Barnabas and, and criticized Paul for, you know, his bad influence. Well, in fact, that's not true. Um, uh, First of all, Irenaeus never never quotes anything from the gospel. There didn't exist. There's nothing to quote. But he he doesn't mention any gospel of Barnabas, uh, and he never criticizes Paul. Um, he praises him. So I mean, obviously the people who are coming up with this stuff, and I just put that this, he didn't 
mention that the ear and ass thing in his video, but it is mentioned in that same preface, and, and you see this stuff all at you know various um, site Muslim apologetic sites, um, not necessarily the good ones, but it, but it's out there. Uh, so I just thought I'd bring that up in case you run into it. It's 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 really absurd, uh, but I'm not going to expect that much out of that. So. At this point, I'm just going to kind of wrap it up here. I think I've made my point, and thank you very much for your time.